Miss New York. Mary Therese Friel, Rochester, New York. Miss Iowa and Miss New York. Terry Lee Reese and Mary Therese Friel. Number five on the list of semifinalists is Miss New York. Miss New York, would you come over here to me? Mary Therese Friel is 20. She lives in Rochester. She is a student at St. John Fisher College. And you have heard, perhaps, in interviews or you've read, that the pageant is an educational experience for the girls. It was the pageant that made it possible for Miss New York to visit New York City for the first time, was it not? Yes, it was. I'm sometimes embarrassed to say that because usually when you say you live in New York, everybody thinks of the Big Apple. But the biggest thrill I've had so far, besides being in Mississippi, is experience New York City firsthand. And we got to go to a Broadway show, and we got to be picked up by uh, uh, King Kong at the Empire State Building. Was a press man dressed you up in a good went to a baseball game. And a baseball game where the Mets and Yankees played for the Mayor's Cup. Do you know how I know that? Yes. I saw your picture on the bulletin board with one of the New York Mets. Yeah, that was Which, Lee Mazzilli. Yeah, yeah. Has uh, he asked you out? Has romance blossomed? Well, I've been a little too busy for it, but he has called a couple of times and wished me good luck. Yeah. Is, is he and are the Mets watching the ball game, to, or watching the uh, pass? <laughs> yes, where's the ball game? Where is the ball game? Which monitor is it on? Are the Mets watching the pageant? Well, he said that they would be playing tonight, but they would be putting it on Betamax. I hope they get a chance to see it. You know, the way the Mets have been going, they could watch the pageant and play just about as well as they've been playing. <laughs> um, I shouldn't say that. You know what'll happen. They'll go on, they'll win the pennant, they'll get in the series, and I won't be able to get tickets. I apologize. I apologize. Thank you, Miss New York. Have a look at Miss New York's score. Miss New York. Mary Therese is 20 years old. She's five feet seven and a half inches tall and weighs 115 pounds. Miss New York. Number four among the finalists is Miss New York. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. Leslie, will you please ask your question of Miss New York? If you wrote a book about your experiences as a Miss USA contestant, what would the longest chapter be about? the women here that I'm competing against. A lot of people think that it's pulling each other's hair out, and it isn't. We all love each other, and everybody wishes each other the best. And when you have to share a bathroom with somebody, and a bedroom, and sometimes a bed, you really get to know the people. And we really genuinely like each other, and we've made plans to visit each other's towns and cities and states. Thank you, Miss New York. When I think of you, I think of dancing in the street, feeling every beat of a good summer fun. Step down here beside me, please. Miss Washington and Miss New York. One of you will be Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up, which is very important, because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligations for the entire year, then the first runner-up will assume the title Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss Washington. Miss New York is Miss USA.
runner. There you are. And her beautiful bouquet. Uh, you're the new Miss USA. You've won all of the cash awards, the magnificent prizes, as well as the beautiful crown. And in July, you will represent the USA in the Miss Universe pageant in Perth, Australia. And as your predecessor, Judy Anderson, reads the Miss USA creed, won't you step out and show these folks how happy you are to be Miss USA? <laughs> We are seeking peace, tolerance. We, the young women of the USA, to join us on Thursday, July 19th for the Miss Universe now, pageant, Barker, live behalf. from Perth, Western Australia. This is Jack Wells speaking. Portions of this program were recorded.